Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Lori, welcome to my channel and my life today. And so today is day three of Mask Madness. I am so glad that you're here today. Stay tuned to see what we're gonna do. Okay guys, today I talked about the Do of the Gods um, the other day about wanting to do it. It is a brightening mask. And this is what it looks like. And so I'm going to put this mask on as we are talking. Um, and we'll leave it on for about 15 minutes. And we'll go over some questions. Are you guys getting to know me? So if you don't know me already, my name is Lori. I was really disappointed when I tried to open up that mask because it has dried out. So I've left it too long. I've used it several times. It was at least halfway gone or so. Um, but I won't be able to use that one today. So let me grab my glasses. I got a couple more and I just wanna see what they are. Okay, so we're gonna try this one. This one is a gel cucumber hydrating mask. It is by, let me see who it is by. Reveal, it says Reveal Ultra Hydrating Cucumber Mask. It is gel and it says T Y N T E T Y. So Tint Beauty T Y N T though. So it is a gel mask and you're leaving on for 10 minutes. So we're gonna head and open this up and try a gel mask today. I really thought about trying the, um, oh, there's a little thing on it. So we gotta take it off. I thought about trying this Aceology one over here, but it is a detox mask and we've already done that. If I can, I had to turn out the fan. This room is in the front of the house, so it gets the morning sun all the time. And right now, I was a little warm when I came in. But it's definitely not warm outside. It was in the 30s this morning when I got up. So, okay. So I took that off and let's see how this applies. Just gonna leave on this layer. Whoops. It's kind of a thinner gel than I expected. Most gel masks harden as um, they sit longer. You can hear Zoe back here probably chewing on a bone. So this should be pretty good. I always avoid the eyes. I, I go around the eyes, but I do not put them directly like on the eyelids or anything like that or too close. Even on the bottom, I can use, um, what do you call that? I can use eye patches for that. So I squeeze that a little much, but we're gonna put it on as much as I can and let this cucumber mask sit. I really do not smell cucumber. Mm -mm. It doesn't have a fragrance to me. I don't really smell anything. So, okay, that is on. I think I leave it on for 10 minutes, but let me double check. And of course, I spilled it on the table, which is normal. It says apply a thick layer and leave it on for about 10 minutes. So this is what the front of it looks like. 
I want to try different masks. I have these masks and I don't want them to go bad, especially like my Dew of the Gods went bad because I didn't use it um, enough. I've done it several times. It's over half gone. It's probably two thirds of the way half gone. But, um, you know, we forget we have these other masks, so we do not use them. So my first question, guys, I'm gonna try and do this without my glasses since, well, shoot. Um, they're just gonna get a little bit of mass stuff. I'll have to clean them. So some of the questions. Let me get to these questions, guys, and I'm gonna tell you, my name is Lori. If you don't know me yet, I should have told you earlier. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining my channel today. I hope that you will subscribe down below. I am legally blind, so you're gonna see me do things a little differently using technology and different kinds of glasses. I'm never in the same pair, it seems. So today, I think these are plus six. That is where my eyes are at today. I see nothing out of the left eye and in the right, shadow, shapes, colors, um, and light. And sometimes I can read a few things on the product when I put it under my machine. I put my iPad on Zoom and zoom it very big so that I'm able to, um, like right now, ask certain questions, but I'm only reading small parts at a time. Otherwise, my eyes will go blurry and I won't be able to do it. So we are going to find some more questions out about me today. The first question I see here that I wanna answer is what are my hobbies? So I have a few hobbies. I love to scrapbook. Um, and you okay, Zoe? So I love to scrapbook. I love to work with my Cricut. Um, I love to make photo albums and it is very relaxing for me. It's harder now as I got older and I've lost more of my vision, but I don't want to quit doing it because it is something I love. I also love to do latch hook rugs. Let me show you. So I haven't done one in a few years because my eyes have gotten so bad, but oh, I forgot to set my timer. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes counting down. Okay. So this is what I purchased to do. It is a latch hook kit. And of course it is in flip flops, which if you've seen the rest of my room, you know it's all beach besides my little area back here for filming. Um, I love the beach. I love the sand. I love the ocean. It is my happy place. So I'm going to try this. I have this new machine down here and you guys can see my hand moving under it. So I'm hoping that I'm able to see the color um, on the board so that I can do this. I'm excited about that. So those are two of my favorite things to do. Also, I love to read or you would, I would say, I love to listen to books. I've been doing Audible for years and I have over 110 books in my library and I will read them again, you know, but I just, I love to read. So that is the answer to my first question. Where were you born? I was born in Los Angeles, um, California. And I, yeah, the, I think on Mondays I told you I'm 58 years old. Where did I grow up? I grew up in the Mojave Desert in California. Um, I'm from Apple Valley, California. I grew up there, um, married my husband when I was 21. He had been in the Air Force at that time at a base located close. Um, we got married and moved around. Um, where were we? We were in Germany for three years and that's where my son was born. We were then in Riverside, California for three or four more years. 
And that's about an hour to an hour and a half from my parents. So that was real convenient for us to see them. Um, after that, we moved to Arkansas and we've been here ever since. So we love Arkansas. My kids have grown up here in Arkansas. Grandkids have grown up here. Um, so yeah, but I did grow up in Apple Valley, California. Who were my childhood idols? Okay. I'll just tell you who are my favorite, you know, as a teen, as a teen or preteen, I guess. I was in love with Andy Gibb. He was just like the hottest thing ever. And I could not get enough of listening to his music or looking at his pictures. I did see better back then. So, um, but he was my childhood and preteen, I would say, idol. Um trying to think um who else well I really liked Debbie Boone and um very very sweet lady my grandmother used to write to her all the time and they would correspond and um we would go backstage and get to meet her and Pat and her husband Gabriel so I was really excited about that Zoe you okay? Okay. So that were that was my childhood idols at that time. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do I have? <laughs> I gotta laugh because I'm a typical woman. Um, I got a hundred pair of shoes probably. <laughs> I separate my shoes like right now. I have put all my boots and winter shoes above the um, clothing in my closet. And I have like a section with shelves and all of my summer shoes and tennis shoes and stuff are there. But I swear I probably have, I don't know, I probably have a hundred pair of shoes. At least that would be what my husband says. Every time we pack to go somewhere, I take 10 pair of shoes when I'm going for seven days. <laughs> What, baby? What's wrong? Come here. Why are you crying? Are you okay? Zoe is down here, guys, and she's looking up at me, but she was whining like something was wrong. What's wrong? Come here. Come here. No? Okay. She doesn't want to come over, so we're just going to go on with our next couple questions before we start the giveaway. Which was your favorite class in school? I think my favorite class in school is history. Um, I love to learn about the past. I still love history. Um, so I would say that's probably my favorite where did I go to school? I went to school in a couple places, actually. I lived, um, I was born in California, but we moved to New Jersey, which was where my dad's family was. So I went to grade school out there and I went to, I guess it would be middle school. Um, and I think it was fifth grade. I'm trying to think it. Fifth or sixth grade when we moved, I was 12. And we moved back to California and I went to school in Apple Valley. Okay. So we're just going to bring her into the picture, guys. She needs a bath, so she might be looking a little... I tell her she's a... The stray dog sometimes. <laughs> don't, don't, don't lick that off. So it's starting to hard and I feel it. So, um... That'll be enough questions, I guess. I'm going to hold on to her and let her cuddle for a minute because sometimes I don't get a lot of that from her. Um, you're a good girl. She just wants to get into all my boxes and stuff, and she just can't help herself. <laughs> so, guys, let's see. Today is day three of Mask Madness Week, and on day three, we are going to do another giveaway. They are four masks. Let me go grab them. So let's go ahead and look and see what we have for masks today. I have an everyday mask, which is my face tree mask. Ma I can't even talk mask. This one is the almond mask. 
I have used it before. I love that one. The next mask is this one here. And this should be, it is the chamomile mask. This is the lemon mask. And we have the pearl mask and it is no harsh chemicals for brightening. So that is what we have in our mask madness giveaway today. Hopefully you will love the mask that you receive I would love to have everybody doing their mask and getting ready for spring also. Um, I'm going to take my mask off with the, the um, warm water as soon as we're done. So you have to be publicly subscribed to my channel to be able to win. You must comment on every video Monday through Friday during Mask Madness to be eligible to win any of the... Um, any of the days. If you don't comment on one day, then you will not be able to win. You must be 18 years or older. You must live within the continental United States, the lower 48, no Hawaii, Alaska, or international at this time. If you are allergic to one of these items, I cannot be held responsible for that. If the post office loses, crushes, tears, trashes your envelope. There is nothing I can do about that. I will give you a tracking number. You can follow it through if you would like and take it up with them. Um, let me see. Everything else. Oh, YouTube is in no way affiliated with this giveaway. This giveaway is done on my own. I have either bought these items or been given them in a subscription box. Everything else, guys, is down below. So remember, publicly subscribe, like the video, comment on every Monday through Friday video, and I will put you in to enter. On Saturday, I will pick the winner of all five days. So there will be five winners. And once I do that, I will make a video and post it on Mask Monday, the following Monday, okay? So we need to answer this question. So if you have been watching my videos, you should be answering the question. So what town did I grow up in? Not which one I was born, but the town that I grew up in and where I went to high school. Okay, so you may have to look back, but it's in there. That's it for today, guys. I will be back tomorrow for Mask Madness Day 4. Okay, I love you. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.